Good morning! Happy day before Thanksgiving, but to you guys, it's Thanksgiving! So happy Thanksgiving! I hope you are having an amazing day and that you are enjoying your time with family or just friends if you cannot be with your family this year. The cats want to say thank the happy Thanksgiving as well. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving? Yeah? Are you thankful? Yeah. What are you thankful for? Tell me. Yeah. Uh, just one thing? Yeah. No? Okay. Okay. What are you thankful for? Yeah. Huh? What are you thankful for? <laughs> oh my. He's a ninja. Yeah. Kick in there. No, <laughs> okay. Well, our cats aren't thankful. Are you thankful? Yeah. What are you thankful for? All of our friends on YouTube. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I'm thankful for you guys too. And I'm also thankful for my sweet family and my sweet, amazing friends. You guys know who you are. And... Our savior. Oh, definitely. I'm thankful that we get to serve an incredible God. And I'm also thankful for food. Let's be honest. On Thanksgiving, you're thankful for food. All right, I have some errands to run this morning. Yeah, so she took camera, she go run the errands, she have fun. I have so much to do today. I have to clean this mess of a place. Sorry, it's probably an awful view behind me. It's kind of gotten out of hand this week. And then I run errands this morning. So my my errands that I have to run, so I have to go by Publix really quick, even though I don't want to go by Publix the day before Thanksgiving. It's gonna be crazy ladies everywhere buying ingredients to make their food for Thanksgiving. Unless they're all smart this year and they went like I did before. But I'm buying ingredients to make tacos tonight for dinner. I am not buying Thanksgiving food. So hopefully. Yes! Tacos! He threw the paper towels at me. I, actually, I was throwing it that way, so it went behind you. Oh, okay, that's a little better. And then I'm also going to run to an ornament store because my family has a tradition of we do ornaments, we give ornaments, and I started the past several years giving the ornaments, giving an ornament to my parents. Well, I have not been able to find what I was looking for, and that's why I've come down to the wire the day before Thanksgiving. This year we're giving them to each other. Well, my mom's giving them to us the day of Thanksgiving. So that's why I'm like, oh, I need that now. So I'm going to an ornament store in the mall to look for something and I'm hoping I can find it. I mean, I have, I know what I want. I just haven't found it yet. So it's not that I haven't been looking. It's not that I'm procrastinating or anything. So then after the mall, I may run to Michael's really quick just to look for something. And then I'm coming back here and I'm cooking and cleaning, I'm cooking and cleaning, and cooking, and cleaning. So that's my day. All right, finished up at Michael's, and now I'm about to head to the mall. I just had a lame experience with Michael's, and now I'm just kind of like, grr, frustrated. It's ridiculous that I need to not be frustrated because I shouldn't let a rude employee like affect my morning, or my day, it's not really morning anymore. She was just so super rude, and I didn't, deserve that at all but anyway i was ah uh, grouchy people i don't understand you why <laughs> why are you so grouchy i'm trying not to judge because she could be having just an awful morning and me questioning an item that is supposed to be on sale but was not ringing up on as on sale Maybe push her over the edge, because that's how she reacted was that I pushed her over the edge. Like, sweetie, it's only 12, it's like 12, 15. Like, I'm sure that I will not be your worst customer of the day. Just hang in there. I should have been more encouraging, but I think I was so shocked. Like, I was taken, I was taken aback. Anyway, it is what it is. I hope she has a better day. And I got, I got what I needed. So, that's, that's good. Now I'm going to run into the mall and... Look for an ornament. I 
I didn't plan to come to Hobby Lobby, but I'm having to go to plan B for the ornaments. So stay tuned. Okay, last stop. I mean it. <laughs> All right, that took less than five minutes. I was in and out. I'm a little out of breath, actually. Hang on. <laughs> I should have waited to start drilling the camera. Anyway, I was in and out, and the amazing Publix um, employee that I went to to check out. She was so super sweet. Like she was doing a cheer as I <laughs> with some other employee when I walked up and she was just like, oh hey, okay, you're so sweet. I told her I loved her attitude and she just talked about she loves her job and she knows that her attitude affects, you know, the customers that go through her line and that's incredible. So ladies and gentlemen, Publix gets the award of the day, the Anna Award of the day, for just being amazing. There you have it. All right, I'm in a better mood. I don't let people affect my mood, I promise you, this much. It's just, it's an observation. All right, I'm going home now. I want to go home. It's craziness out here. The people before the Thanksgiving day, they are so crazy and in a hurry and they forget how to drive. So I'm going home now. Look who's over here. Professor Cranford. <laughs> yes, indubitably. In yep. Stalin boots. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. So we are making the, we made these flyers of our camera. So we're gonna go put up these flyers that uh, talk about our camera being lost and see if anyone will maybe turn it in to us and contact us. That would be so cool if they did. Anna is rolling some duct tape down the hill. I know you can't see it. Oh, why do you gotta turn? It's still going, baby. It's still going. It's gonna go in the drain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I heard a hit. I didn't foresee that. So, guys, I don't think you can see it, but there's a drain over here with a huge hill. And we decided to roll the duct tape down the hill. There was no way. I'm the idiot. <laughs> like, and now we have idiot. nothing that was, to... That was my duct tape. It was like $7. $5. Yes. We have nothing to tape it up. <laughs> Maybe I could crawl in there? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Actually, you know, we can remove the lid. I'm not ready. That's With not what? You got a crowbar? Our bare crowbar. hands. All right. In my car. Austin has some duct tape in his amazing vehicle. So we're just gonna tape that up. We have hung up the posters and we're back in our hot apartment compared to being outside. Yeah, Professor Cranford, still That's looking hot. rather mighty fine. <laughs> well. <laughs> and Anna with her TOC shirt. Woo! Representing. Anna been looking real fine. <laughs> <laughs> what you gotta, you gotta explain that? You wanna? I don't have to explain anything to you. Be right back. We have a special visitor with us, and Roland's not sure about him. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> my pants are about to fall down. Oh, oh, oh. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> What's he doing? I can't see him. Why'd you get the Santa suit again? Oh, the original oh, thought oh. was photo shoots. Like I, <laughs> people would do like one mini session with Santa. Roland definitely doesn't want a session with Santa. But like it was originally 150. And I found it clearance for 25. Oh. So. Oh. Buy a suit for 25, oh. not when you need them. Oh. Yes. Oh. Well, he's really not as skittish as he was last time. It's disappointing. Well, it's still His tail is pretty Oh my. It's popping all over the place. Just fix this, Santa. All oh, over me. <laughs> wow. Don't get it on my Santa suit. You want to hug with Santa? Hmm? You want to hug with Santa? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not Santa. You smell like beef and old cheese. Bye, Santa. Bye, See you later, Santa. Don't forget See your you. your hat. Santa. See you in a month. I'll see you in a month! That's true. Less, almost less than a month. I'll see you in a month. And I hope you bring me presidents. <laughs> presidents? These are the dishes that Anna Anderson is making. Macaroni has already been prepared and is in the fridge. Green bean casserole now being prepared by Anna. And she is tired. It is uh, 10.47. Anna's tired. And I'm tired too. So she's going to keep cooking that. And I'm going to go to bed, guys. Good luck cooking, babe. I love you. So I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> you can find a new wife for Thanksgiving. Oh, no. Need a new wife. Anna mixed in the crispy onion string. Or she get that, the dish for the casserole. Oh no, there's a bug in it. Oh, so gross. Now we can't use it. Oh, Anna looked very, very angry. Yes, she does. I better go, guys. All right, I think I got most of my baking. Well, I finished the green bean casserole and the macaroni tonight. But I will finish the seven layer salad tomorrow early. So, you know, I went to the stores earlier today to look for my parents and ornaments since they gave us one. I try to give them one as well, just because I like doing that. Didn't find one that I was looking for. I was looking for something like, because they've been doing a lot of like housework this year. So I was looking for one maybe like hammer or just kind of construction maybe. But I couldn't find a cute one. My mom got a John Deere this year for Mother's Day. And so I was like, okay, a John Deere lawnmower. I'll look for that. Or just an ornament that says John Deere. But I couldn't find a one. So my plan B was to make them an ornament. So I ended up making them this. It's still drying a little. It's okay. It's obviously not what I would have preferred to have, you know, given them. But it'll do. Kind of like a kid did it, but it's okay. It works. I may go over it with some brown paint just to make it look older. I would probably regret that decision, but... I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, I should. I wish it was fancier, but that's all I could come up with. I'm tired. I think I'm about to go to bed. Hey guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that you are having a great Thanksgiving though. Hope that God is blessing you and your family. You're having awesome turkey and anything else, ham, whatever you guys eat. Hoping that you guys are just having a great time with family and friends and that you're all saying something you're thankful for. I wanna say that I am thankful for my amazing wife. She is my favorite person in the world and I just love spending every day with her. That's one reason I feel so blessed to be a freelancer. I get to spend way more time at home than I uh, would if I was working a normal eight to five or nine to five job. I'm really thankful for that. I'm thankful for so many more things. Thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for my church. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for this kitty right here. And that one too. I'm thankful for this apartment, even though sometimes it's crazy and I don't agree with everything that this apartment complex does. I'm thankful for so many more things. All the jobs that I get with amazing clients. And I'm thankful so much for my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ who without him, I would not be where I am right now. I know that much for sure. I would not be standing right here right now. So I would love if you guys would leave a comment down below and tell me something you're thankful for. And you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, just the standard family, friends, that sort of thing. I mean, if that's what you're thankful for, really, then you can say that, but tell me something unique, different. Tell me something really unique and different that you're thankful for. For instance, I'm thankful for the great outdoors. I love mountains. I'm thankful for mountains. That's different and weird. So leave a comment for something you're thankful for that is not quite the ordinary. We all just kind of assume that you're thankful for your friends and your family. Again, you can leave that too. That's fine. I'm, I won't hold that against you at all. I, I love reading any comment. So anyway, thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything that you guys do. Give a thumbs up. Thank you for your thumbs ups. And we'll talk to you guys soon. We love you guys. We're thankful for you. God bless.